picked up uh, an addition for the Avery today. Let's see if these guys will come out on their own. This here you probably haven't seen. That right there is a harlequin quail. Actually, two male harlequin quails. Hey guys, they'll fall down here. Aren't they pretty? A friend of mine had uh, a pair and then these two extra males. They were really beaten up on the, the females, so took them off his hands and uh, these guys are gonna live with Prince and Nikki in the big Avery and uh, they'll be uh, in charge of the ground, basically. So these guys are from Africa, they're ground birds and uh, yeah, they do fly a little bit. As you can see, they're pretty small. They're a little bit larger than a button quail but uh, much smaller than like a, a bob white quail that you would see here in the in the US. But they, you know, just a mixture of different grains, but they also eat insects. And uh, one kind of interesting fact is, uh, I believe it's called tidbitting, where the male will grab a worm and try to entice like the female during breeding. I, I read that someplace. You know, I figured, you know, this, there's so much ground cover here you know for these two and actually these guys are extremely as far as quails go normally quails are pretty nervous but uh, harlequins are they actually will recognize the owner and come up via, you know for food and obviously I've they've known me for a total of 30 seconds here so but yeah they will be kind of a Fun to watch them kind of run around in here and explore their new surroundings. You know, where, where I got these from, they were in a, in a cage. So this is something totally new. They've probably never even seen an insect, let alone a, uh, you know, a wild plant. So we'll keep you updated. like the wild wild plants. <laughs> 